The human mind is an amazing thing, encompassing some 86 billion neurons. The brain is a vast, complex network of interconnected circuits. This marvelous human computer is responsible for all of our greatest achievements, our music, our art, all our hopes and dreams. It has the power to create and to explore. But it is also the cause of some of our most dramatically life-altering disorders, Alzheimer's, depression, concussions, and a whole host of neurological and psychiatric disorders that have plagued us for millennia. At UT Southwestern's Peter O'Donnell Jr. Brain Institute, we're on a mission to find the causes and treatment of these diseases of the brain. And to do so, we need to see deep into the brain. When you're looking at somebody, all you can really see is skin deep. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the brain and we're gonna look at the structure of the brain as well as the function. And we still don't know what everything is doing in the brain. We still need to unlock all of those different mysteries and that's where neuroimaging comes in. I'm an assistant professor at UT Southwestern. Specifically, my title is the MEG scientist. MEG is magnetoencephalography, which means that we look at the magnetic signals coming from the brain. So even right now, as my neurons are firing, telling me how to talk, I have magnetic fields coming out from my brain, but you all do as well. You can't measure them just sitting here. You have to have a very specialized machine, and that's what the MEG does, and we use that to map brain surgery, we use it for all sorts of applications. So I manage our whole brain microscopy facility at UT Southwestern, and I use very specialized automated microscopes to look at whole brains in 3D. We need to be able to see the whole picture of the brain overall in 3D, and we need to be able to see each individual brain cell in detail to be able to assess properly what's going on in the brain in both health and disease. These new techniques reveal images of the brain never seen before. So let's take a journey into the furthest reaches of our own minds to see what the forefront of neural imaging looks like. Sophisticated computer processing allows us to create detailed models of the structures of the brain. By combining this with advanced scanning and imaging techniques, we can start to see into the landscape of the brain. As we go deeper, we're able to see structures and connections that help us to understand the roots and causes of brain disorders. We can actually see substructures of the neuron, so individual parts of the neuron that we know have different functions that are receiving the signals from other neurons or sending the signals to other neurons in the brain. So we can take this information, not only the detail of individual neurons in the brain, but how those individual neurons are connected in the brain as a whole, and we can study how that is affected in different disorders that affect humans. We can see how individual cells interact to understand diseases like brain cancer, or even go as far as seeing the interactions of molecules, such as those which cause diseases like Alzheimer's. As the technology continues to improve, we can start to move past the mere static images. Using state-of-the-art imaging techniques, we're now able to witness actual thoughts occurring in real time. So the MEG measurements help us to understand what is going on, what the neurons are saying to each other. And in epilepsy, what that means is that we can see where there are misfirings and where the seizures are coming from. In traumatic brain injury or concussion, we can see where the brain has slowed down and isn't able to talk to itself. All of these images are helping us come one step closer to preventing or even curing all manner of brain disorders. The human mind is an amazing thing. The physicians and scientists at UT Southwestern's O'Donnell Brain Institute are working to unlock the secrets of the brain. Yours. Theirs. Ours.